Right, I'm up on Draycott's lights on the 21st of September 2020. I've got a nephew's birthday today. He's 10 years younger than me, so he's 58. Can't believe it. I remember when he was a little whippersnapper, though I was not much older than him when he was born, when I was 10. Yeah, he's his birthday today. Right, this is it, look. This is what you call... <sighs> Draycott Slides. I've just seen those people I passed earlier. They've just reached that style now. They were going another way. And then they changed their mind, came back. Last number is right over there. Brent Knoll over there. I'm just going over towards the glider airport and place where they keep some gliders. Now the, I've been lucky actually, I can hear the, the engine of the milking machine humming. So the cows, as you can see, they do come around here. And they were all up here. I seen them when I was over there. When I was down over that way, I saw the cows running. And uh, they're obviously gone to be milked. I always thought they did get milked that lot. Which is good for me, because now I don't have to have any extra um, anxiety. Now, I, I did come across a cave one, one year when I was up here. I don't know if that's the entrance. I don't know where it is now. It's because it's summer and there's lots of vegetation. It's down here somewhere. Yeah, a cave. I've got, I've got that on video. Right, so here we go. Now further over there you've got Wells Aerial. W-E-L-L-S. You've got Pretty. Pretty Pretty. Ebba Gorge. Wookie Hole. All over that way, and I've walked it. I've actually walked. Now, I do like walking over those fields, but after those trees, you normally come ac across herds of crisky cows. I'm not going to hug the wall. I'm going to go back down over there in a minute. What I'm doing at the moment, I just want to come over here. There's the little airport there for the gliders. Small planes take them up. I expect that's all restricted at the moment, I would have thought, because of COVID now. But on a day like this, on a day like this, they would have been out. The bees are a bit frantic today, for some reason. <sighs> See, more indentations. This would have had some sort of either mining or residential area here. Wherever you see lumps and bumps, um, that's what you get. Oh, they're going up. Well, those people are going up to that bit. I haven't done that bit yet properly. So there's normally always cows on there. But they're doing that. Some There's lots to do to explore around here, you know. Lots. And we'll do it another time. I'm just going to turn around so you've got a picture of me with that. Here we go, there's Sheila up on the Mendip Hills at Draycott's Lights on a lovely, lovely summer's day. In fact, this is the first day of autumn. This is the first day of autumn today and isn't it brilliant? Better than August was. Alright, over and out. Not over and out, just did a little bit of a thing there. Yeah, they're going up there. I did want to go up there because there's a lot of geology and history and stuff up on that um, humpy bumpy area. Um, so one day I will do that. I will go up there 
and explore that further. But like I said, normally there's cows up there. So I haven't really done it. And those people, they've got a lot of energy. They went all the way down that big hill a minute ago. There's probably a walk around. I do know a bit of a walk over there. I've done it past the big shed and, you know, I haven't done it for a while. I had thought about it, getting off at um, Westby Submendip and doing that bit. I'm going to explore properly on the map before I do that. Right down there you've got glider hangers, glider tubes. Down there what the gliders are kept in. I expect they're all just sat there now. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone. Right, there's that little cave entrance. I think it'll probably be quite big inside. We just nip over to it again. And over there, I've got a feeling that's a water pan for the cows. Down there, look. They've started to build them again. It's um, the Romans used to do that, you know. You, 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 you have it on a slope, and somewhere to collect at the bottom. When the rain hits, it just slides down. It's all sealed off so that it can actually go and be saved as water for the cows. See, a lot of these trees are already like it's autumn already, and it's really nowhere near it. Let's just go over and have a look. I don't know if it was here. Like, I can't remember it being here before. Yeah, we're going to go that way and up over there because otherwise we'll be leaving the field before we know it. This is called a pan. This is what you have to build in your back garden. A fresh cow pack. Look, they were up here, see? If I... Uh, you run out of water, you need to build your pan and collect water. Yeah, I don't know if they're allowed to get in. Doesn't look very healthy, does it? Um, I suppose it needs sucking out and cleaning and everything. But it's better over that side, look. You see the pan going round in a circle like that? They probably haven't finished. It was one big, obviously it was one big area once because they do have cows in there as well I know that out with me on the history lesson <laughs> I don't know which direction the cows will go when they come out that's the other thing because I mean that they've been in now half hour maybe nearly going on an hour that means they'll be out they might not run on the way out though you know what I mean see all this cobweb stuff <sighs> lots of it it's always been very cobwebby up here for some reason <sighs> right I'm just videoing a bit of Draycott slides. I hope it's coming out all right. It might be bumpy. Like I said, I'm not BBC. But this is of great historic significance. This um, it's funny. Do you know? What? I just thought I saw a deer then, but I didn't. It was an optical illusion. It was standing by the rocks. It was golden. It was very. It was very fast. The, um, like it was stood there. It was a very strange feeling, that. It was gold. A golden deer. <sighs> this place can play tricks on your mind. Yeah, they've been here. They've been here. <sighs> not only that, the reason they like going down to the barn to be milked, and it's not just the milk, and they get fed. They get a nice big bunch of hay when they're being milked or where they're hanging about waiting. Here we go, look, there's this little cave. 
It probably goes down deeper once you get right down in it. It's like a pot always, but... It goes down quite a long way. Much further than I'm even going to attempt to get in or anything. You can see different plant life growing in here though, can't you? You know? Zoom in a bit. It's probably silted up. But it's enough if somebody wanted to shelter. I saw cans of lager in here last time I was here. But of course, the water would also run off down this bank, look. So uh, it might not be much good if it's pouring with rain. Let's take a picture of me by this. Take your hat off this side. Oh, wait a minute. Is that still on? That's still on thing. There's a lime kiln there. We'll go around the front of that in a minute. This is all to do with mining and these could have been huts here. Or just mining puddles or whatever you call them. Just dug out and they just... Let me just home in over there a minute. See those people, they went right on top of the hill but they didn't look at that lot there. All that, that's of significance, see? It's all very full of history here. So I'm just having a break with the hat for a minute. Back over where the glider pods are. And uh, there's, a, there's a lime cone here in a minute. Look, you can see that, look at the evidence of humanness here you see very much so isn't it it probably links up with the other side of that mound where that cave is I expect there might have been a way out there where they were mining as well that's what I think see if I was walking back from Wells to Cheddar I wouldn't be bothering to do all this looking about, but today was a Draycott Slights day. So, a history day, history and geology, and maybe archeology, span of course. Yeah, there we go, look, and get right up close to this old kiln. There's quite a few in Somerset like this. Farmers often had them anyway on their land for doing, putting lime on the ground, you know, fertilizing stuff. And you see that's how red that is. That's been well fired in the past. I don't know if there's groups of people that help conserve this because it's the history of the Mendip Hills really. But of course now you can just scan it all, record it. It's a good job they done that with a lot of archaeology that was destroyed by ISIS in um, Syria and Afghanistan. There's a lot of stuff that was deliberately big, very, very ancient stuff, much older stuff than we got over here. It was deliberately smashed up. And... Uh, Fortunately, they did, they've been able to put together like 3D images now because people sit, took lots of photos. So it's, that's the only way now we can pass on. Sometimes that's the only way you can pass on. It's by... Yes, go down there. Let's go and have a look over there. I know I've done it before, but I just can't remember. Up there, it's just all high. And there might be humps and bumps, but there's a lot of stuff lower down. 
we're just going to go over to that bit. When the cows I seen when I was over that way were running down this bank very fast towards the avenue of trees and to the farm. And in the background I can hear the farmer's milking machine humming. I can hear his machine humming. And then as soon as that stops, they'll be out. I don't know whether they run out. I don't know. They were all up here not long ago. They were all up here. And I'll disappear. And they come running. I'll go running. <sighs> yeah, I was just going to have a look over there. That's why it says it's a piney slight stay. It doesn't really take long to get back to Cheddar. To tell the truth after you've you know, like I said, this was always the last leg for me of a big hike. Um, get to piney slights and you feel like you're back. So, you know, and I always knew I could go down into that village and pick up a bus if necessary. But according to that bloke, there's a bus at six o'clock. About ten past. I'm aiming, they say every hour, but... It sounded like he meant yesterday. I mean, tomorrow. Now, the cows are all round here. Earlier, all round here, where I'm standing. And they've gone back down to the farmer, because they know there'll be big bales of hay for them to eat. I'm just going to... I know I, got, I might not go down there, because it's all up and down. We just might just stand over here and have a look. Rather than keep going down all the time and then up. Yeah, there's a load, load of um, stuff there. We'll go over on, on this hill here. Of course, you can look it up on Google. It'll tell you all about it. Give you nice big images as well. Nice big images you'll get from here. I think the humming stopped. He's happy out. But we've managed to do a bit of exploring without tension and anxiety. Hopefully. Depends where he lets them out. God, look at that. I'll have to stop the video in a minute and take some pictures of this scene. I think the farm's down there. It's nearby. Somebody walking back the track I was on a minute ago. Let's just zoom in just to remind ourselves where the track was. Oh, it might be a bush. No, there's somebody walking up. Someone's been out doing a little walk. Another hill. All these little hills, they all mean something, you know. Little parts of tribes. I didn't take any pictures of the lion kiln. I did, I've got it on video. Yeah, the, the humming has stopped. So you know what that means, don't you? They're coming out. They'll be coming out. Ah, they're already coming out. Look. We've got to get ahead of them. Yeah, look, there's one there. I think they're already, and he's got horns. They're already ahead of me. They're already coming out, Shell. Oh, not to worry. Let's just take some pictures a minute. Over and out.